I want to talk to you guys about weight loss. And for me, these were the two most important things that I looked at for weight loss. So one thing I looked at was how I was going to go about what I ate and how I ate. And one thing I looked at was what I'm going to do for exercise. So when it comes to eating, the first thing you need to do for weight loss is you need to find a calorie maintenance calculator and they have those on Google and whatnot, but on those you'll be able to put in your height, age, activity level, etc. and it's gonna give you a number. And so ballpark estimate, but that's probably a good number to start. And with that number, what you wanna do is you wanna figure out, okay, so this is how many calories I'm gonna use in a day. If you're trying to lose weight before we even talk about the exercise portion, if you don't wanna touch weights, but you wanna lose weight purely by your diet, you want to aim to eat, let's say, 500 less calories than that maintenance level every day. And if you do that consistently, like your body cannot go against the laws of thermodynamics just to spite you. Like It's just like literally, you will lose weight over time. So the only thing I say to be careful with when it comes to that is some people may hear that and say, okay, to make things go faster, let's say I need 3,000 calories in a day, Hell, I'm just gonna eat 1,000. No, you can't do that. And the reason you can't do that is your body has a sensor and it goes into a starvation mode. And when it goes into a starvation mode, what your body does is it literally says to itself, okay, I'm not getting enough food, I'm not getting enough nutrients. The little that I get, for example, that 1,000 you eat, I need to put into storage because chances are I'm not gonna get any more. So your body does that and then you start to pack on weight and people that don't eat enough wonder why they're even gaining weight they're like why am i gaining weight because i'm really not eating a lot that's why your body can sense that and it's saying to itself all right i need to store this because i'm not going to be getting a lot more in the future so that's the first thing you need to worry about when it comes to weight loss figuring out your calorie maintenance level figure that out and then eat four five hundred calories less than that number every day and you don't have to use that exactly because through trial and error, you'll know if that certain number of calories might be too low for you or you don't have enough energy. So maybe you only eat two or 300 less. Some people, it varies, everyone's different, but that's what you wanna look for, essentially. So now when it comes to exercise, there's two things that are really important with that. Number one, calisthenics. Number two, high intensity interval training. Now here's why. So with calisthenics, your body is gonna pick up on two things. Number one, your body has to be at a certain weight in order to be doing pull-ups. And to be able to move your body in a certain fashion, your body has to be at a certain weight. So you're gonna have to lose weight. Your body's gonna sense that this is the new type of resistance it's going against. So your body's going to take shape accordingly. That's basically what fitness is. That's, what, that's the whole concept. So with calisthenics, that's one of the things that it really does to you. That's number one. Number two, with calisthenics, it's important because it really makes sure that you're hitting more than one muscle at a time. So for me, in my experience, it was a much more efficient method of training for getting more cut, defined muscles, like getting these cuts in between here. And that was important because I was hitting a lot of muscles at once and the intensity was high. So for me, that was amazing. So again, speaking on intensity, the second form of training that was important for me was high intensity interval training, H-I-I-T. And all that is, is that it's very intense forms of cardio in short spurts spanned out. Instead of like long distance running, it might be short distance sprint, slow down, sprint, slow down. Like for me on my off days, I'll play basketball because it's another form of intense stop, intense stop. So any form of that type of cardio is gonna be great for weight loss. So a lot of women that are watching this video, there may be some type of Zumba class or something, or dance classes. Things like that, I would personally say, have been like, you know, great for people trying to lose weight. So those are the two main things I would look at, guys, if you're really looking to lose weight. Those have been, in my experience with the people I've trained and the way I've had to lose weight, those have been the absolute best for me. So thank you guys for watching. I really enjoyed making this video for you guys because a lot of people were asking me about this and I figured this is probably the best thing I can do for you guys right now. So if you want more content like this, and I know you do, don't lie to me. <laughs> if you want more content like this, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the video if this helped you. 
and comment and let me know any more questions you guys have about what other things you want to know about fitness, what else you want to explain to you that just hasn't been clear to you in the past. Honestly, I just want to make it as clear and easy for you guys as possible. That's honestly what I'm here for. So again, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Peace.